We are here at Oshkosh, opening day at Air Venture, and we're looking at an airplane we haven't seen before. I haven't seen it before anyway. Obviously, some others have been working hard on this thing. Absolutely. Yep. This is a little single-place airplane. We don't often see single-place airplanes in this segment, so we're talking to Tyler Ives, and he's going to tell me some stuff because I don't know much. First of all, it looks to me, Tyler, like you have to be about this skinny in skinny order to guy. fit in this airplane. <laughs> I don't think I'm quite as skinny, so would I fit? Yeah, I think you would. I really think you would, Dan. I had a 6'4 uh, gentleman today ask if he could hop inside, and I let him get inside, and he fit okay. Let's pull it off and look. Yeah, let's take a look inside here. So down here, we do have adjustable uh, pedals that do adjust back and forth oh, depending see. on the Got height of the pilot. handle right down here? Okay, yep, that's I right. That. Uh -huh. yep. uh, we so have, the seat obviously doesn't move. That's like pretty built in there. You that is built in pedals. there. Of course, this does peel out pretty easy. So you can get to the, the main spar down here oh, for okay. easy in, wing installation. The wings are removable. They come in and out. It takes about 10 minutes to take them off or put them on, depending. Wow, really? Okay. Yep, yep, pretty fast. I assume you need one helper or something to do that? The wing, believe it or not, you can actually do it one person. The wings weigh about 27 pounds. Yeah, we've got an example here right behind us. Yep, you do. So you slide those in one person, it'll stay there until you put the other side on, and you can just bolt them together. Now, in the days of carbon fiber and welded steel and <laughs> aluminum, we got some funny looking stuff here that looks like it grew on trees. That, that's right, that's right. So <laughs> this is mostly a wood airplane. Um, there's a lot of foam construction for the ribs on the inside. Um, and then in the critical areas, we do have carbon fiber. Okay, so, yeah. I've actually got a little example of that right here. Uh -huh. This is the parachute cover. Correct. And this would, when the rocket motor hits this, it would just blow this away. I'm familiar with that part of it. Uh -huh. But here's some carbon fiber reinforcing, and this is what you've got elsewhere on the airplane. Absolutely. So where, give me an example of some of the place you would use Sure. It. So right here, right where the main wing's attached, we've got it down there on the inside. Okay. We've also got it on, the, if you look on the spars of the wings, on the outside ah, there, yeah, we've okay, got yeah. that running through there. So now I'm looking at the spar out there, and what I'm seeing looks like it's a knife arrangement. Correct. Two blades come together, and then you pin those. That's correct. That yep, okay. they overlap on top of each Excellent. other. Excellent. Yep, and for the parachute, we've actually got Dyneema cables that run all the way outside up to the forward engine block. Excellent. That's so when she it comes be. out, it's just like a triangle. Land on your gear. Beautiful. Yep. So tell me a little bit about now single place uh -huh. um, and the control mechanisms here. We talked about rubber pedals. Do you, do you have brakes on it as well? We do. We and do. are brakes on the pedals? Are they hand grip? or? Uh, they are on the pedals. Okay, so you got yep. toe brakes then basically. Yep, it's also cool. tail wheel steerable as well. Okay, great. Uh -huh. And then the conventional joystick. Looks like throttle on the left, and what do we got over here on the right that the camera can't see too well? There's we've another got, handle here. We've got flaps over here, ah, the flaps, trim okay. control over here, of course the emergency chute. Throttle can actually go on either side. We can swap these around depending on your preference. Ah, okay, so you can have left or right throttle, whatever your That's right. left or right handed kind of thing is. That's Pretty right. interesting, and, and we started off looking at the price here, uh -huh. $14,000 for a kit. What all do you get for that? Sure, so you get essentially this right here. Um, all of this is pretty much pre-built except the interior and the tail empennage here is not there. What do so, you mean pre-built? So it comes halfway built already. It's a 49% go. Okay. So all the pieces to finish the airplane are there. It's just not all done for. You got to build 51% of it yourself. Sure, we understand that rule. So, uh, mm -hmm. so for example, this this finishing that I'm seeing right here is this done for you? Yep. Or is this some of what the builder has to do? No, this actually comes done for okay. you on the outside. So you're mainly a builder is mainly assembling. Uh, mainly assembly. Fabricating. Okay, correct. excellent. Correct. What kind of build time are we talking about? Um, you know, we have a, a lot of new builders build it. Takes about 700 hours. Our okay. more experienced builders can do this in about 400 hours. Okay. And then performance-wise, she's really a hot rod, and she is that right? She cruises at 118 miles an hour. Oh wow! She right burns at the top of the LSA category. Uh huh. Okay. 1.8 gallon fuel burn at that speed. Is that right? What, behind what engine? This is we're using a, a F23, a Hearth engine. Okay. 50 horsepower. We so have, you're using a horizontally opposed? Does it stick out of the canopy like a nope, the cup it style? It fits all inside. All enclosed. All enclosed. So. Okay. so it looks pretty nice when you put it all together. Climb rate on this is about 1,500 feet per minute. <laughs> wow. So so she beauty of single place. So I'm trying to think if we have. I think we have one other single place in aerobatic airplane called a snap, and I'm not remembering that we really have any other ones. I've seen a uh -huh. couple of interesting ideas from Europe, but they've not any of them gone through the route. Oh. Okay. So people are going to say to you, well. What if I want to carry two people? What's your answer? The answer is there is an SD2 that's in the works right now. <laughs> okay. And we'll be here next year with it. So uh, you can okay. come by and see it then. So you said you had several builders working on it? How many how many builders does that amount to right now? Well, we've got... you're new to me, so are you new Right, to the game? this is new to the U.S. So ah, okay. if you look over in Europe, Australia, South Korea, there's 17 flying right now. Okay. Uh, I couldn't tell you how many kits have sold. 
but at least that many, and I'm sure more. Okay, great. Um, and so, so where is this originating from? Then? The Czech Republic. The Czech designers Republic. in the Czech Republic, engine and exhaust all comes out of Germany. Okay. Yep, and we're located in uh, Orem. Is this all laser cut? Uh, how is the kit coming when it comes to someone? Yeah, so when it comes, essentially, it's not pre-cut necessarily. The wings are prefabbed, but the skins are pre-cut for you. you got to put the wings on the ribs and whatnot. You have to do a little gluing and whatnot? Absolutely, okay, so. absolutely you do. Okay. Yep. Fact, and is that is that a skill that uh, people feel comfortable doing? Gluing is a little bit... Uh, I understand. Yeah. Yeah, so whenever the, the manual comes to you, it's broken down very simply. We built it so that a 14-year-old could put it together. <laughs> that was what we were shooting for. So for Well, that's how you get your computer fixed, too. You call a 14-year-old. Yeah. yeah it's, uh, I hope it's, that works in airplanes. So <laughs> I suppose it does pretty well. Okay, great. Well, you've given us a lot of basic information here, Tyler. We appreciate that. Thank you. We want to tease people with a little bit more, though. So sure. where's a website? We're watching this on YouTube or a place like like that on Dave's site, on my site, other places, uh -huh. and you can capture it as well and have it on your site. So they're already at their computer. Where do they go to get more information from? Just it? go ahead and Google Skycraft Airplanes or SkycraftAirplanes.com. You'll find a whole bunch of information there about the airplane. Okay, great. Fantastic. I've not had a chance to fly this yet, but I might be looking for it because I like single place flying. You're only up there to please yourself then. Just you and the air and, right. and the laws of physics, I guess, and those we want to try and break if we can. So. <laughs> A couple of questions I'd like to ask. First of all, where are you located? Mm -hmm. We're down in Orem, Utah. And if I wanted one here at the show, how long before you can deliver it to my door? it would be about eight weeks until so you get a box to your door. Okay, that's pretty fast. Yep. And where is Orem, Utah? So if you know where Salt Lake is, we're about 40 minutes south of there. Oh, okay. Yep. It's a great hang gliding place down there. That's what I've seen a hang glide <laughs> down there, Utah. That's right. You maybe saw me. So. <laughs> great. We're here at AirVenture Oshkosh, opening day, where we've been talking with Tyler Ives of Skycraft Airplanes. You can get more information about his airplanes and many other airplanes at my website, bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for watching.